Hey folks, welcome back to another video. Today it's about this VST plugin here called Kick Ninja. And the first thing you probably think is, oh no, not another kick drum synthesizer. But this one has some cool ideas in there uh, that I want to show you. So first up, you have here your waveform. You can dial in uh, for the body at least, the pitch envelope. You can dial in the amplitude envelope. You can change here the blend between different oscillator wave shapes over time if you want to you can dial this in here that's very special distortion so you have basically for everything in here you have some automation line you can use and dial it in over time that's pretty cool you not only have an oscillator here you have also a sampler or at least three samplers and here at the end some kind of global effect with some uh, distortion uh, compressor and so on so so far pretty normal um, there's also on top here an export feature where you can just drag this out into your door just a pure sample which is also very handy uh, but the main feature for me is that you can actually recreate uh, kick drums from samples so what we do here is we pull up here some samples. So I have some kick drums in here. Um, let's say this one, and you want to recreate this in a kick drum synthesizer. You drag it in onto this oscillator here. Instead into the sampler, we drag it here to the oscillator and you can see there's an AI symbol here. And then we just release and we can now insert here a low pass frequency so everything below this frequency gets analyzed for the pitch envelope and everything above is used for the sampler for the attack right we can also dial in here an attack time uh, 10, 10 milliseconds it's it's pretty okay and then we just hit import and we just yeah get here an amplitude envelope we also get a new pitch envelope and this is how it sounds so this is the kick drum here from this synthesizer. Um, this is how it sounds here. It's not the same, but it's the same, the same pitch envelope and so on. So of course, some of the texture on top is missing, but you get the same kick drum. Let's, let's try this one. AI import. Uh, sounds pretty much the same. Um, yeah, it's kind of the same kick drum. So this one here is pretty dope in my opinion. You just drag in some uh, kick drums and uh, recreate them inside of an oscillator. I love these kind of features. It's really my thing. Um, there's another dope feature in here I have never seen before. So let's um, use here an init if I have, is, is there actually an init preset? Init preset, yeah. So it sounds like this. So it's just an oscillator. So let's dial in here um, a pitch envelope. Let's say something like this. So you can create 808 sounds with this. Of course, this is just a sine wave here. Um, but you can now use here the pitch tracking. And now the last pitch node inside of this graph here becomes more or less pitch tracked. Everything before is always the same. This means you can create a kick drum or you can create the attack of the kick drum. And this last thing here is then pitched to the key input of your keyboard. So it's pitched up or down. But the attack phase or the attack uh, pitch envelope here is always the same. So this is pretty cool for 808 or trap music, I guess, um, where you want to change the bass here, the bass frequency or the bass note, and you want to keep the attack always the same. You can see it's pitch tracked. And then here, of course, use a bit of distortion or we can um, modulate this or automate this. 
Ah, I think I need to bring in here the wet. Yeah, nice. Oh, that's a bit too much here. And you can then change it the length of the whole kick. So these two features are pretty special in my opinion. The rest is more or less the same you find also in Kick 2 and all the other kick drum synthesizers. But this one was a bit special and I think this is a great idea here to use AI or machine learning to figure out the uh, pitch envelope and yeah, dissect the kick drum into an attack phase and uh, the tail or the decay or yeah, it's called body decay and tail here. So yeah, this is pretty dope. Um, I leave you a link in the description below so you can uh, try this out. There's also a trial version available on the website. This is here trial. I haven't bought this yet. So I try to figure this out if I really need this and I uh, drag some kick samples in there and yeah, see what comes out of it. So I want to show you this on this Friday. Thanks for watching. Leave a like, leave a comment. If you want to ask something, subscribe to the channel. Thanks for watching and bye.